From NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Have you ever had a great idea but wondered how could you turn it into something big? Well, American Idol meets small business in the Microsoft IdeaWins.com contest. Contestants compete for the best small business idea. Expert judges whittle down the field, the public weighs in, and helps those judges determine the champ. The winner gets $100,000 in startup money, a New York storefront for one year rent free, software, and consultants. Oh, they're all going, ooh. We should remind you that MSNBC is, in fact, a joint venture between NBC and Microsoft. Here are portions of the four finalists' online entries. So my big idea is to create an organic beauty bar that serves fresh, made-to-order, masks, scrubs, lotions, and other beauty products from natural organic ingredients. Endless Closet is the ultimate clothing rental service for fashionable women. Finally, women can achieve a hip, contemporary look for any occasion. People of all demographics have been flocking to this new form of lyrical stimuli, a high-energy, diverse, theatrical style of poetry known as slam. It's a cabaret performance cafe that turns poetry into business. I design and print a line of wallpaper. I also have a custom branch of the company, and this is what I want to bring to New York City and open a retail space where people can come in and I can custom design for them. Joining us now, Dana Greaves, Alexandra Dimitro, Dimitro Linda Pratka, Lyle Sutton, Mason Granger, Scott Terevitis, and Given Campbell. And good morning to all of you. Congratulations for making it to the final four. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You, you can all breathe now. It's okay. All right. Just kind of right. take a breath. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, uh, Dana, first of all, the Organic Beauty Bar, what, what a great idea. What, what, where did you start up with this idea? It started as a spa idea, and I quickly threw that idea away because of the lack of resources and the lack of finances. Mm -hmm. And Microsoft uh, kind of allowed me the opportunity to revisit the idea and to add that innovative element, which would have been the organic products. And what's great is, I mean, all this stuff seems so natural, and after you wear it, then you can eat it, can't you? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. <laughs> but it's, it's really neat. Thank uh, you. Alexander, you and Linda are behind Endless Closet. Yes. Now, which seems like such a natural idea. Why didn't anybody come up with this before, do you think? That's what we wondered. Yeah, I mean, we had th this exact problem of working in New York City right out of college and just not having enough money to do all the shopping we wanted. So we thought it'd be brilliant if we could just rent stuff for 15% of retail cost instead of going out and spending $600 on a dress that you wear once. And is there any downside to this? No, no downside at all. <laughs> all right, there you go. It's convenient for our consumers. <laughs> it's, we offer a great selection mm -hmm. and eco-friendly dry cleaning, and we give to charity. You know, it, it, it's like the 60s are back now, Kyle. I mean, the beat poetry, all that is back, except yeah. now it's, it's called slam poetry. That's right. But, but can you make money off of this? See, they always said that. It's a pipe dream. You know, mm -hmm. How are you going to make poetry a business, right? right? And I mean, I think that it's difficult for all artists to balance the business side with, you know, the, the artistic, doing artistic full time. And I think this whole thing, this, you know, Microsoft sort of giving the support for us to, you know, find a way to make our small businesses work. And then when I found out this competition is happening, I'm thinking, wow, this is, this is really a great opportunity, you know, and great vehicle to spread that. So, and, and, and what's the hardest part about running a poetry business? I mean, uh, I mean, because anybody could start up a, a, a competition right. right across the street, I guess, because everybody, you know, I mean, poetry. yeah, I think it's, you know, making sh sure that you're able to organize it and make it so that it appeals to everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, stressing the message of, like, cultural diversity and creativity, right. you know. Given you're already working in your business, this custom wallpaper, which sounds like such a great idea, how did it get started? Well, I offer a custom branch in the wallpaper business that I do now, and it's been the thing that people have responded to the most. So with Microsoft's help, I know that I can expand this mm -hmm. and bring it out to more people and get more attention for that part of the business. All right, let's bring our judges in. We've got uh, Carolyn Kepper, Kepker from a CEO of Carolyn and Company. 
and formerly of NBC's The Apprentice. Good to see you again, Carol. How are you? Uh, we've also got maternity wear designer Liz Lang. Liz, nice to see you. Uh, nice my wife wore a lot of her, your stuff during our, her two pregnancies. And Chris Capicella, vice president at Microsoft. Good to see both all of you. Thanks, it's great to be here. So you guys know what it's like firsthand starting off a business. Uh, first of all, Liz, what, what do you think they're going through right now? Well, it's, it's tough. It's very, very exciting, though, but it's, it's definitely tough. I, I absolutely, as you said, know firsthand what it takes to get a business off the ground. And as you're all experiencing, it's not easy, but it's also very exciting. So I'm almost envious of the place mm -hmm. you're in today. It's, it's, it's like the beginning of a love affair. It's a Car lot of fun. Carolyn, uh, how difficult was it judging these ideas? It was very difficult because, in all fairness, they were all great ideas. They're all pretty original. And the one thing that they all had in common, they all had a true passion for what they mm -hmm. were doing. And you don't find that too often. I, I was impressed by all of that. Well, Chris, you've got the, uh, the envelope. Want to open it up and tell us uh, whose idea wins? You bet. We're really excited to be here and uh, happy to open the envelope. And let me turn things over to Carolyn. All right. The winner mm -hmm. is... Kyle Sutton. Thank All right. Uh, the poetry guy. Wow. All right. Guys. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's, it, it must be a pretty cool feeling to know that the arts is an idea that wins. I want to prove everyone wrong who said that we can't make it a business. I'm, I think they're going to help us, and I'm really excited. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Well, congratulations. And, and maybe it's a franchise. Next to every Starbucks, you've got, we you've want got a poetry We want different languages <laughs> everywhere. You know, it's right. the world with poetry. Guys, well, congratulations to all of you. You're all winners. All right. Thanks so much.